When you look at across all the sectors, the oil and gas industry is actually in the bottom quartile for actually utilizing big data. All of the data that has been generated from the dawn until the year 2000 was one exabyte. Today, one exabyte of data is generated every 32 minutes. It's growing exponentially so that in 10 years, we're actually going to have 100 times the data that we have today, right? So how do we get ahead of that? How do we leverage that? How do we gather that data quickly, sift it, manipulate it, and use it to our advantage? When you look at machine learning, it's really just advanced statistical techniques. You're really trying to take things and make them repetitive if you can. So you're gonna ask yourself a question, you're gonna collect and clean the data, you're gonna analyze it using very sophisticated techniques and algorithms, and you're going to communicate that answer back to the audience. It is actually fairly simple what we're trying to do. We just have to take complex algorithms to make it happen. And more importantly, we have to open people's minds to thinking that machine learning may be a little better than just intuitive or you know, thinking that you've got a gut for something, right? Or that you've done it a certain way for a really long time. We're being asked today, how do you do more with what you already have? Well, here's the answer. Here's how you do more with what you already have. You look at it differently. You open your mind to it. You try to say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mature my analytics, and in return, I'm going to get a competitive advantage because I am going to be able to predict and act on those predictions versus being reactive, which is sort of where we are right now, which is responding to things. Who are these data scientists? I mean, really, they're, they're folks who are really good at math. I think that's what most people think when they think of a data scientist. But I can tell you, that's not what the modern data scientist is. Yes, they're good at math. Yes, they're good at algorithms. But they're also incredibly good at storytelling. They're incredibly good at teamwork. They're very innovative. They're very creative. And they're problem solvers. But I think that group paired with oil finders is what really sort of makes that kind of magic, where you actually start to see results. The best results are achieved when human and machine work together. And so the real question is, are we ready? Are we ready for it? We have been faced with two very big downturns in only one decade. And I think that AI has the potential to differentiate between those companies that are going to thrive and the ones that are going to be left behind.